Hello everyone. This is Ashwin here. In this video we are going to see how to extract features from daytime attributes. So this kind of uh, daytime attributes so we are seeing in uh, most of the data sets. So for time series we can just directly use it right away. But for regression projects we have to extract individual features from the daytime in order to get some meaningful information from that. So we'll see how to extract each individual uh, features from this daytime attribute. Let's load the data set now. So df equals pd dot read csv. So I'm gonna import a traffic forecast data set. So this is the data and I'm gonna import only like um, 100 rows because this is somewhat a big data set. I just need some uh, dates and time in order to show you guys uh, some examples. So this is the daytime attribute we are going to use. This is some unnecessary column and this is the count of the traffic. If you didn't uh, use this data set, you can click on the right top corner in order to see how to forecast uh, future traffic with this uh, data set. And now uh, let's uh, do the basic pre-processing for this uh, daytime. So before that, I'll just uh, remove these additional uh, attributes as well. So it's not needed for us. So drop columns that will be df equals df dot drop of columns. I will drop this id and uh, count also because we don't need that. Okay, that's it. Okay, this is a capital C. Okay, now let's do the basic uh, pre processing. So df of date time equals pd dot to date time. So this will just convert the existing date time format into a proper format in order to extract all the features. So let's do that. Okay. Now let's again display the data. Now you can see uh, before it didn't have this uh, seconds uh, data and all and now it's having hours, minutes and seconds and the format of data also changed from years, month and uh, day. So from this uh, we can extract all the remaining uh, features from now on. So here extract features. First I'm going to extract uh, date features. Extract date features. Okay, now I'm gonna go with like basic uh, features that is uh, day, month, and year, and also we can extract uh, quarter. So I will create a new column for uh, all the data. So df of year equals df of date time dot dt dt represents the date time and what attribute you want to extract that is year so like this you can uh, reuse the same snippet again and again in order to extract all the features so i'll just uh, quickly uh, do the pasting so next i will extract month so here also it will be month. After that I will go for day. Here also day. And uh, other important things are like quarter. And uh, quarter. What else we can uh, extract? We can uh, go for uh, some semester but uh, it's not needed. Other than that uh, we can go for uh, day of that particular week. So day of week equals day of week. After this uh, we can extract a week. So df of week equals week 
and uh, we can also check whether uh, is there is a weekend so is weekend so we can find this using np dot where of df of day of week day of week dot is in I'm just checking whether it is in uh, 5 comma 6 so 5 represents Saturday and 6 represent uh, Sunday so the weekday will be starting from 0 to 6 so that's why I'm just using 5 and 6 if it is present then I will uh, represent it as 1 or else it will be 0 I think that's pretty much the uh, daytime attribute apart from that you can also extract other attributes if you want like the semester and um, some holidays so these kind of attributes you can uh, extract additionally so now you can clearly see we got a year from this uh, date time month that is 8 the day that is 25 quarter that is third quarter day of week is 5 and uh, week is 34th week and uh, this is a weekend so currently it extracted all the things maybe I'll just quickly uh, shuffle it so df of sample so we will uh, get some different uh, data run this with head as 10 okay at least uh, it got some uh, different results yeah here you can see uh, this particular day 25 and 26 is considered as like a weekend because uh, the day is uh, 5 and 6 otherwise all the other days is uh, represented as 0 that is whether it is a weekend or not apart from that uh, every week is represented here like 34 and 35 uh, day of that particular week quarter day month and year so these are the basic uh, daytime attributes uh, you can extract so so far you have uh, extracted the dates so that is this particular attribute apart from that we do also have uh, extracting capabilities for the uh, time so now let's extract uh, some time attributes so here extract time features so df of first I will get the har equals har df of minute equals minute and we can also extract a second equals second what else is there we can extract that uh, time attribute alone so I will call this as like time time maybe I'll just uh, ignore this maybe I'll just uh, run this in a separate manner so again df dot sample of fraction equals 1 dot head so this is just to shuffle the data and show the results now you can see you got the har minute and second is uh, 0 that's why everything is represented as 0 if you have a minute and second means it will extract this particular uh, attributes so apart from that if you just want the date or time means you can uh, extract like this so df of date equals date okay I have to remove this and uh, similarly this is for extracting only the time now let's run this I'll just use the head itself now you can see we have extracted the date alone and here we have extracted the time alone so this will be very helpful in order to eliminate some data or if you want to process the uh, data separately means you can now uh, create a new feature like this so apart from that the final uh, technique we can use is uh, find the difference uh, between dates so for that I'm gonna find the difference between uh, the today's date from this date so I will call it as df of difference equals for that I have to import import 
date time find difference from current day so this will be date time dot date time dot today minus df of date time so this will give you the difference i'll just uh, display it so this is the time difference you can get from the uh, current day to the existing date whatever you have so this is the total number of uh, days difference and after that you can again extract these uh, differences or else you can uh, um, convert this day time into a day time attribute and extract it as a uh, seconds so that is also possible and uh, overall that's it guys so you have extracted each individual attribute from the uh, day time and you can uh, definitely use uh, all these attributes in some uh, regression uh, project and uh, you can also use it for other uh, uh, data sets so this will be very helpful uh, if you are uh, effectively using the day time attribute and other attributes as i said you can include uh, holidays uh, semester and uh, frequency so whatever uh, it is available you can also use that so that's it guys uh, if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe the channel for more videos See you guys in the next video.